Now then, my friends, I have been to thousands, hundreds, millions, of, a lot of fish and chip shops uh, on these vlogs. I've been to many of them around the world. I've been to California, I've done New York, I've done Yorkshire, uh, I've done Nottinghamshire, I've done Leicestershire, I've done London, everywhere, basically. However, However, and they've all, they've all got their awards and they all say they're the best fish and chip shop in Yorkshire, the UK's best fish and chip shop. This one, however, you can say it is the best fish and chip shop on planet Earth or for planet Earth anyway, because they're, they're vegan friendly. Hold it right there, stop right there, wait a minute, carnivores and people that like real fish and real meat and like to eat normal food. Oh, I can't say normal food, can I? Because vegan's normal as well. We're not going there, we're not going to any controversy. They are vegan friendly. However, you don't have to have vegan and don't worry, I won't be having vegan. Um, but they do a huge range of vegan options and uh, they also have the normal favorite dishes as well uh, always served with a smile uh, however it's called sea and earth and they aim to deliver the freshest quality food for all your chippy needs with a huge uh, range of exciting uh, developed vegan alternatives that uh, offer the full chip shop experience so if you are a vegan then head along and uh, try it out tell me what it's like I'm not going vegan today though um, they are also environmentally friendly, so they promise to use only the highest quality ingredients uh, that are locally sourced where possible. They also used all their packaging uh, is recyclable packaging. All the condiments available on the site will be in recycled containers and their packaging is fully recyclable. Sustainability as well, they're committed to using fish from sustainable sources. Uh, where they have uh, researched it all themselves and identified boats that are op operated under ethical guidelines. Uh, the food and drink as well, they've got Sea and Earth are committed to providing high quality, non-processed food with no nasty stuff added. So this is a fish and chip shop, my friends, with a difference. Baz the Barber, by the way, uh, I think his son's been, and he said they are fantastic. They get an excellent write-up, have a look online. I've, I've not seen one bad re review you, to be honest so I have passed it a few times and it does look rather inviting I have to say so we're gonna go along today we're gonna mark it out of 10 I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well on looks alone and on price normally when things are sustainable uh, and they're good for the environment we know it costs more money however we'll see we'll be the judge of that if you're new to the channel do hit that subscribe button click that little bell for notifications it is important that you click that bell because when i upload a video you get a notification on your phone that the mic master's uploaded again anyway it's getting cold i'm getting hungry i want to mark this out of 10 so without further ado let's go pessimistic but what are we doing up there anyway waiting for me um, anything that is environmentally friendly or sustainable or if you've got like you go to a supermarket and it's organic uh, it always costs more money uh, and so I'm being a little bit pessimistic here but I'm being open-minded at the same time I don't think you can do that can you can you be pessimistic and open-minded at the same time anyway we're gonna because I've passed this place hundreds of times and I've always wanted to go into it because it's been there. I used to live down the road uh, in, a, in an old mill from there as well and, um, and it gets a good ride up. It's there and the outside of it as well. It's decorated quite nicely and it looks really cool for a fish and chip shop. It looks a little bit too modern. It doesn't look like a, an old school fish and chip shop that you get in Yorkshire. It's a little bit more 
What's the word? When you go to a pub and it's a gastro pub, it's just like a gastro kind of fish and chip shop kind of thing. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, we're going to mark it out of 10. Don't forget, I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well on Lux alone and on cost. Uh, so anyway, come on, onwards my friends. down there again aren't you Getting, and somebody's gonna say have you washed your hands before you've eaten your fish and chips I'm from Mansfield we used to eat mud here we go anyway sea and earth fish and chips uh, I think we're in Daybrook here you can correct me if not there's Daybrook or Arnold I think it's Daybrook uh, we're gonna go in there anyway mark them out of ten uh, I'm gonna go for the normal gonna go for fish and chips gonna go for curry sauce mushy peas uh, and uh, see what they like so come on let's get in there So, now then, I am told, done a bit of a recce, you know, it looks like I've just walked in, but I haven't, really. I've been, I've been here a while doing all the B-roll and stuff and talking to these guys here. Now, it's not all vegan. I'm gonna ask this gentleman here, Connor. Now, I know his name, because he's got a little badge on there that says Connor, so you're up there for thinking, you see. I'm gonna ask him a little bit about it, because there's vegan options, there's, there's, I'm gonna say, can I say normal options as well? Are you a lap? That's controversial. Well, I'll hand you over to Connor before I dig a deeper hole for myself. So, I say we're via a fish and chip shop. We do both vegan and non vegan options, which is the correct term for it there. I'm not allowed to say normal. <laughs> Everything on the blue screen just over here is all of our non vegan stuff. So, you've got things like fish, scampi, sausages, all served in this cabinet here. Very handily labeled non vegan. Everything else on these two screens is vegan and they will go into our vegan cabinet. Um, everything we've got non-vegan, we have a vegan alternative. So our vegan fish is banana blossom. We have vegan scampi, sausages, pies. Anything non-vegan, you can get a vegan version of it. Uh, our chips are vegan by standards. Never any cross-contamination there. Um, all of our sauces as well, things like our miso mayo, uh, tartar, curry sauce, baked beans, all things like that, they're vegan as well. Brilliant, and it's sustainable uh, sauces and also all your packaging is uh, recyclable. That it is, yes. We do like to make sure everything's as sustainably sourced as possible, um, as well as having things like cardboard packing bags, as well as recyclable paper, so cardboards, and our bags are paper as well. So of course we just want to make sure we're doing the best that we can to reduce our impact on you know, waste and on the planet. You know. Right, so there you go, Greta Gunberg or whatever her name is, she'd love it in here, wouldn't she? So there we go, top notch. Well, I'm going to go for a, I'll do it, I'll do it politically correct. I'm going to go for the uh, non-vegan option today. Uh, and I'll go for, <laughs> I'll go for a large cod, please. Um, I'm going to get slated from vegans if they don't, don't hate me. I've had vegan stuff before. I'm going to go for large cod, uh, chips curry sauce uh, and a mushy peas please all in the uh, recyclable packaging because uh, it's all about so this has got to be then the best fish and chip shop on the planet well for the planet that kind of thing so we'll go for that I'm looking forward to this <laughs> see you guys in a minute Actually, stop right there because 
Nick here, um, he said that you're out, well I'll let him tell you, one second. Hi guys, how you doing? Uh, so Nick Constantino here, CNF owner. Um, so we've recently made it into the top 20 fish and chips this year, which is an amazing feat, we've only been open one year. Um, considering we're a brand that does sort of vegan and non-vegan, um, I find it incredible that obviously we've been honoured to be put in these um, achievements. So please get your votes in, if you can head to our website, um, there's numerous links on social media, etc. Um, and please, we need your help, so get your votes in and hopefully we can make it to top 10, top 3 and then hopefully top in the country. Fantastic, there you go. And by the way, I am not sponsored before anybody starts. These, I didn't even know I was coming in, I just came in, came in and shoved the camera in the face like I normally do. Uh, I'm waiting to get thrown out some places, but I am absolutely looking forward to this because, as I say, I've passed it loads of times, so I can't wait. I wonder if, whether I should edit that bit out where I put, um, I'll just have a normal version, a normal option. I'll probably leave it in. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> Right, my friends, rather than eat on top of a bin this time, let's just straighten you up on there. Uh, I'll just use the top of my car roof, why not? Uh, we'll go in for these before we do. I'm going to get you uh, to take a closer look. A little, did a little B roll, a little flyover. B roll is all like the, you know, the little clippets and stuff. So before we go any further, just take a closer look, my friends. <laughs> Right, okay, so there we go. First impressions looks really good, I've got to say, cost-wise, by the way. Um, pleasantly surprised, I have to say. I thought it was going to be a lot more than this. This is a large cod, uh, £9.25 for the large cod. Uh, small chips, small curry sauce, uh, small peas, £10.45. So I'm going to say that isn't too bad at all in this day and age. Uh, the peas don't look overly radioactive. Um, the curry sauce we're going to go in for. Uh, my, the roof of my car, by the way, I found an actual use for an electric car. It's a table, there we go. Uh, we're going to go in, oh, don't go in for the curry sauce first and make that mistake. We're going for the peas first, not too fluorescent, got to say. Wow, <laughs> they are, wow, they are amazing. There's a slightly, there's a slight sweetness to them. Wow. Wow. Wow, they are very good. Them peas are some of the best peas I've tasted on there, I've got to tell you, on this channel. Um, going for the batter, the batter, Get rid of these notifications on there. The batter on here, very crispy, not too greasy. Wow. Don't see any skin on here. Normally, in the Midlands, you get skin on the fish. But I don't see any. Don't see any, I don't see any skin. Oh my word. Mmm. Wow. The batter is light, crispy. A very, very light batter, very tempura like, but not greasy at all. Going for the chips. Here we go. Nice chip there, look. Light and fluffy on the inner, vegan friendly. Obviously the uh, the fish isn't. I'm going to go into the curry sauce now. This is very dark. Looks almost gravy like. Wow. Absolutely amazing. It's got a nice kick to it. So far. Wow, I am very, very impressed. That curry sauce, mmm, 
but I've got to tell you this fish beautiful piece of fish inside there nice and white and flaky beautiful right I'm gonna eat this and then come back to you and mark it out of 10 because boy oh boy these are some tasty fish and chips I've got to say I am very very impressed Wow I'll definitely be voting for these why have I not gone sooner? Absolutely bloody gorgeous. Wow. See what? Looks like maybe a little bit of skin on there, but I don't know. Can't really tell. Because normally, as I've said before, it's normally like thick and I've been to the fishing ship shops in Mansfield, it's a, a thick black skin on it, but that is absolutely gorgeous. Right, I'll eat these and then come back to you. I'm enjoying them. And the peas, wow. Beautiful peas. Right, I can sum this up now and tell you exactly. Absolutely outstanding fish and chips. Some of the best tasting fish and chips that I have ever, ever had. Um, <clears throat> I've never been there before, I don't know them. Um, I'm, honestly, the chips, not too greasy, cooked to perfection, the fish, batter, beautiful, the fish inside, nice and meaty, uh, the curry sauce, beautiful, the peas, ha, oh, amazing, and the mushy peas, they're my favourite mushy peas, number one, they're number one on my list now, unbelievable, I've got to tell you, I'm really impressed, price wise, I think uh, in this day and age, pleasantly surprised, um, I really, really enjoyed it, I could, in fact my dad, my dad would have said, well, I could eat that again. It had gone rubbish, could eat it again. Honestly, fantastic. There you go, I'll put all their details in the description uh, down below. Wow, unbelievable. Um, it's a, I can't, I don't, 10's not a high enough score for it. Fan, fan bloody tastic, out the ballpark. Right, um, I think that's all from me today. I'm gonna to eat the rest of my curry sauce. I've got to tell you though, this car park's a bit strange. Like people pulling in, like two women have pulled in and then gone off over there somewhere in the trees. And then another couple of women's pulled in and gone off over in the trees over there. It's weird. Uh, not Probably not as weird as some old bloke from Mansfield eating fish and chips up the top of his porch. But there we go. And on that bombshell, my friends, I'll see you guys in the next one. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm.